See the fourth property, charge is quantized. See, charge is a physical quantity and this physical quantity is quantized. What is the meaning of quantization of a physical quantity? It will be expressed like this. What is quantization? If a physical quantity is expressed in terms of discrete values called quanta, and this quanta is any multiple integrals of a physical quantity is called quantization. That means, listen carefully, what is quantization? A physical quantity expressed or can be expressed in terms of discrete values. That a discrete value is called quanta. Expressing, a physical quantity in terms of discrete values called quanta. Each discrete value is called quanta and this quanta can be expressed in terms of an integral multiple. This process is called quantization. See charge is quantized means the total charge of the substance Q can be expressed as integral multiples of a quanta where this quanta discrete value of the charge. That means Q is equal to Ne. What is this Q? Total charge. What is this N? Number of charged particles exchanged. What is this E? Charge of individual charged particle. E is charge of charged particle. What are these values? Where Q is equal to N E. Q is equal to total charge of the substance, N is equal to number of charged particles exchanged in any process of electrification or charging. What is E? Charge of charged particles. What are the charged particles we have? Go back to the initial uh, point of this lesson. Proton, electron, neutron. These three are called fundamental particles. What is the charge of proton? Positive in magnitude. But what is the value? 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. What is electron? It is negatively charged. What is the value? Same 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. What is the charge of neutron? Neutrally charged. That means 0. That means E is equal to charge of electron or proton. That means this Q value can be changed like this. Q is equal to plus or minus Ne. Plus or minus indicates the magnitude of charge. If it is positive charge, nothing but the proton, we can say Q is equal to plus Ne. If it is electron, we can say Q is equal to minus Ne. So, in quantization process, we said that Q is equal to plus or minus Ne. Plus refers to the positive charge magnitude. Minus refers to the negative charge magnitude. What is the fifth property of the charge? Charge is conserved. Charge is conserved. Mm -hmm. 
see this one this highlighted part what is the meaning of conserved or conservation if you go back to the law of conservation of energy which is useful for us energy neither created nor be destroyed but energy changes from one form to another form like that we can apply the same theorem or same thesis for the charge also go back to the process of chargeification or electrification induction is one process conduction is another process friction is another process in case of friction one object another object they both are in contact for some while in this case what we discussed there is a possibility for the exchange of the charge carriers or mutual exchange of the charge carriers means one object loses the electrons another object loses the protons but how the charge will conserve in this process listen carefully gain of electron is equal to loss of protons a loss of electrons is equal to gain of electrons that means loss of one charged particle is replaced by the gain of another charged particle which is oppositely charged this is called as charge is conserved that means it is like this loss of a charge is equal to gain in charge which is opposite in nature loss of charge is equal to gain of charge listen suppose if a loss of electrons means number of electrons lost by a substance will be replaced by gain in same number of protons gain of protons suppose loss of proton exists that will be replaced by gain in electrons gain of electrons so totally whenever a process is completed number of charge carriers in both the bodies will be same there will be no loss or no gain it is collectively called as conserved nature of the charged so charge is conserved the sixth property of the charge is charge is invariant what is the meaning of invariant the magnitude of charge won't change with respect to the change in velocity whatever may be the velocity of the charge magnitude of charge is not going to change this is called invariance of the charge what is the seventh property if a charge which is at rest position it produces the electric field but if the same charge which is under the accelerated motion it produces electric field as well as magnetic field that means this lesson what we are discussing is almost an explanation of the static charges so listen carefully charge at rest can produce only electric fields but a charge which is under the accelerated motion produces electric field as well as magnetic field a charge in motion or acceleration can produce electric field as well as magnetic field
as well as magnetic fields what is the ninth property of the charge charge can be distributed over the surface of a body along the length of a body or over the volume of the body this is set of charge is distributive see these are the major properties of the charge we know that charge can give an induced charge a charge can charge a body which is already neutral we know that like charges repel dislike charges attract charges quantize charges additive charges conserved charges invariant charge at rest produces the electric field charge in motion or in acceleration can produce the electric field as well as the magnetic field and charge is distributive it is distributed over the surface over the volume or along the length of a conducting body these are the main properties of charge what is the si unit of charge it is coulomb now unit of charge majorly the total world is utilizing the si system of units for any physical quantity si system of units is measured by the world wide to measure any physical quantity based on this one what is the si unit of charge coulomb symbol is c si unit of charge is coulomb second one cgs unit of charge is stat coulomb or emu of charge what is the definition of the coulomb it will be like this it is like this if you take any charged particle in a substance or in an atom where q is equal to charge for electron it is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs for electrons for protons it is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs so collectively in quantization we wrote that q is equal to plus or minus n e plus and minus represents the magnitude of the charges that means one electron's charge is 1.6 into minus 19 coulombs but one coulomb is equal to how many electrons 1 by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 electrons is equal to 1 coulomb we do the calculation it will be 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons is equal to 1 coulomb so coulomb is the si unit of charge where q is the symbol of charge minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs is equal to charge of electron as well as plus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs is equal to charge of proton nothing but the positively charged means one electron's charge or one proton's charge is equal to this much 
but how many electrons are collected or how many electrons are collectively called as one coulomb means this is the solution 1 by 1.6 in 10 to the power of minus 19 electrons that is equal to one coulomb therefore if you calculate all these things you will get 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons is called as one coulomb if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus